guys, it's David. So today I am doing an Anastasia kind of first impressions video and also review on some new products that all came out really, really close in time to each other. Today I'm going to be getting my first impression, talking about reviewing three things. That is the Liquid Glows by Anastasia, the Subculture Palette, and the Matte Lipsticks. I do have all of those things on my face right now, so you kind of have an idea of what it is going to be like today and you might get a vibe of what I am feeling. I don't, I don't know. If you guys already aren't, you subscribe to my channel. I do try my best to upload videos as much as I can. Again, I hope that you guys enjoy the video. So um, yeah, let's get going. Alrighty, so I wanna jump right into this video. And I'm honestly super excited because I do have a bunch of new Anastasia products. So first I wanna start off by doing some swatches and talking about each product. So here I do have the Liquid Glow and they are still in the box. I did open them and sat check them, but I did not even take them out and swatch them. You guys can legit see that it is still in the packages. I literally have not opened one, I have not swatched one. So this is going to be a first impression also on all these products. I, don't, I honestly, I don't even know what I'm naming this video yet, but it's gonna be something good. Anyways, so there are four shades and they do retail for $25 each. I'm gonna swatch them. So it does have a little bit of a fine point, which is nice. It won't come out really, really fast or really thick. I know some liquid or cream highlights can be hard to control. So I guess this is nice if you are gonna just like lay it straight across your cheek or if you just wanna pick up a little bit of product at a time. As you guys can see here, again, this is Perla. It's the lightest shade. It does have a little bit of a cast to it from the side. Maybe that's because there's still a lot of product. I'm not too sure. I don't like when highlights do that. Um, but straight on, like when the light's hitting, it's super, super pretty. This is a really, like honestly awesome shade. I definitely like this color. Next I did Peach Fizz. It's a lot darker. You can definitely see the shadow from the side. This might not be the second lightest shade. I honestly have literally no clue, you guys. Um, but yeah, you can definitely see it has a little bit more of like a rose goldy kind of tint to it. So Oyster definitely is a lot lighter than Peach Fizz, um, but you can still see it's really, really pretty. It is more on the pink side, and you can see from the side there is a little bit of a shadow that it casts. I guess these tend to do that. There isn't one that doesn't cast a shadow, but that's fine. Um, it's hard to do that without highlighters, so I understand, I guess. And the last one you can see is bronze. It is really, it's a really, really pretty color. I clearly cannot wear this color unless I literally use it as a bronzer, but we will not be doing that. It is definitely more on the warm side. I feel like these all kind of have a pinkish tone to them. Even the bronze one has like some sort of like rose goldy pink tone to it. We're gonna move on to the subculture palette and we'll do some swatches for those. I already have not mentioned I am part of Anastasia's PR and I just want you guys to know that they did send me these products for free. I don't want you guys thinking that I spent my money on these and that this is how the packages come or anything. I also don't want you guys to feel as if I am bragging. I am super appreciative to be on any brand's PR, especially a brand as big as Anastasia of Beverly Hills. Such a huge brand and I'm just so thankful to be on their PR. So again, I am just not trying to brag and also this video is not sponsored. Trust me, if Anastasia sponsored this video, I would be a lot more prepared and together and not this sweaty. So yeah, I was not too sure about how I felt about this palette and let me just say first of all, the bag that this came in, I don't know if they're selling this bag or not, I'm pretty sure that they aren't, but this bag is so cute. I told everyone, I was like, when back to school happens and I'm literally sitting in class, I'm gonna pull this thing out and I'm just gonna unzip her casually and just pull out my pencils because I love this bag. It's just so cute. I, I literally am obsessed with the bag almost I'm more than I am with the palette. Came in here and I did open it for Snapchat and Instagram stories, but I did not swatch any of them because I thought to myself, what if I did a video and here we are doing a friggin' video. So I already took it out of the original box and you guys can see it is Super, super cute. It has this velvety texture to it. Just, I love the texture. So this is the sister palette to Modern Renaissance. It has the same feel. It has just like the same everything pretty much. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's just move on to swatching some of these because I have not swatched these. This palette does retail for $45, I believe, which is the same exact price as Modern Renaissance. So I think what I'm gonna do is do one arm with the top row and one arm with the bottom row. So let me just swatch these really quickly and I will show you guys. So you guys can see all of the shades here pretty well, hopefully. I still probably have a little bit of liquid glow on my arm, but whatever. These colors are really pigmented and I'm honestly getting some really great vibes from this right now. I don't know if the camera's picking up, but this is definitely more of a green shade. In the pan, you can kind of see, 
it looks really green. I don't know if you can tell here, but it looks more green than on my arm. I was kind of confused when I swatched it. I was like, why is it darker and less green? <laughs> I honestly am kind of really enjoying these. I am going to say I'm slightly disappointed in my swatch on electric. I'm not even kidding. These darks and like these mattes are so pigmented. I've not experienced like really soft, blendable pigmented mattes like this. Like Morphe has not had this. Even on a sense of individual pans are not like this. So I'm confused they did different. Now since this video is already taking 20 million hours to do, the last package that I got is this giant box of the new Anastasia matte lipsticks. You guys can see I have the entire collection right here in their, all their boxes to and everything. I'm only going to swatch a few of the nude shades, thinking probably what I would use for this look. Maybe one of the colors or one of the pinks or something like that. If you guys do want to see an entire swatch video of this entire freaking collection, which I'm so down to do, please leave a comment down below saying that you want to see swatches of all of these. Um, but yeah, this is just more of like kind of a first impression of the formula, so it's not all about the colors. Alrighty, so here are the swatches of the six shades that I chose. I just chose some shades that I would use either for this look or just in general because I just, they looked pretty from the top. So the shades from the top to the bottom is Insomniac, Staunch, Peachy, Kiss, Rum Punch, and Dread. And I'm really, really liking the feel of them. I noticed when I was applying them, they had a certain like kind of tug, like a, like I would drag it and my skin would kind of like pull along with it, which is not a bad thing. It just goes to show that they are matte. Yeah, so that's all for just swatches and kind of like a first impressions of just trying it on my arm so we could see it. The real test is going to be how it is on my face. So I'm just going to kind of speed things along at this point. If I'm not really doing much, I'm just going to kind of fast forward through it. I might just talk real quick about the product that I'm using, but if not, then um, so I did already prime my face. I already did that, and to move on, I'm just going to apply some of the Anastasia Liquid Glow in Perla, and I am just gonna apply that all over with my hands. I just wanna have more of like a dewy, kind of glowy base, so let's try it. say from rubbing it in now there is a smell that it has and I'm not too sure how I feel about it and guys this stuff really is making me glow literally all over I've never done the full face highlighter challenge but I feel like it right now and also rubbing it over my skin is making a weird noise it's almost like a gritty sound I don't know how to explain it it's kind of weird but I'm just gonna act like I don't hear it I'm gonna act like I didn't just rub liquid highlight all over my face and then it's all in my eyebrows um, and we're just gonna keep going. So since liquids blend with liquids better, I'm just gonna try this out because I'm just gonna take a little bit of Perla and apply it onto the highlights of my cheeks and blend it out. So I feel like this tip just really helps. Okay, that may or may not be a lot. We will see. A little bit on the chin, a little bit up here. That's a lot. Some on the nose. And why not just apply it on the fucking middle of our forehead? You know, we're just we're just fucking going for it. <laughs> So I can say that applying it on top of my foundation, I can't really see it at all. Um, I don't know if that's the beauty blender just eating the product, or if it's just because it's mixing with the foundation, but like I said, it's not blending at all, and again, it has that smell. You know what it smells like? It smells like vinegar. I am not even kidding. I legit smell like vinegar. I just figured it out. I'm so glad I did. So I'm just gonna go on really quickly to setting the face and doing my eyebrows, and I will be right friggin' back. I'm super washed out, and I look really fucking crazy, and I want to talk about one thing before I move on. You guys know that I applied some of that liquid highlight and tried blending it out, and it was being weird with the foundation, which I don't know why, and I don't know if you can see on my forehead, but there are a bunch of little spots that I thought I blended out, but I guess didn't blend out, so I have literally like a patch of spots right here in my head. So you guys can kind of see right here, there's like a, 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 there's spots and I don't know what it is. I don't know why it didn't blend out. It's weird that liquids wouldn't mix with like the cream on my face. So a little bit interesting to me. I'm kind of confused because usually I have this problem the opposite way around. When I have powders and I try to put liquids on top, it does this. But I hadn't even put any powder on yet, so... <laughs> I'm confused. Anyways, while we're here, we might as well go on to the eyes. So we are just gonna be jumping in. I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna first be taking Dawn as a kind of transition shade, and I'm using that with a Morphe M441, and just gonna be rubbing that all over my crease. I 
think I am going to be going more for a halo style look. So I'm going to be bringing this transition shade all the way into my inner corner and then also out to my outer corner as well. I'm pretty far up. It's it's a nice transition shade actually for my skin tone and actually a lot of skin tones because as you build it up it definitely gets darker. Like I might have gone slightly too dark on it which is totally fine. I can work with it but yeah you can build it up and a little bit goes a long way like next on the outer corner of both eyes to add another layer of kind of transition I am going to be taking Roxy which is this shade right here it's a little bit more on the pinky side and it does also have like some kind of warms in it I don't know it's like a salmony color I'm just gonna take that on the outer corner with the same brush I wasn't expecting that and um, it's super pigmented and you know what I was I wanted something to be a little bit darker than the transition shade I was using so it's totally fine this is what I was going for it's all good the red one. Yeah, and you guys these are really pigmented they are easy to blend but like two dips and there's so much product left in this pan you can literally see when I blow it off there's so much and there's still so much on here so just be aware of that if you get this palette it's it's, a, it's actually different than modern Renaissance. like it's picking up product way different now with the destiny I'm gonna be taking it on a Sigma e25 and I'm just gonna be popping this on the inner parts of my eyes so I use the Sigma brush because it's a little bit more pinched so okay um, this is hard give me one moment let me just say destiny in the pan is deceivingly dark can you guys see in the pan compared to what happened on my eye we're gonna rock with it though we're just gonna blend her out you know we got this know what we're going with because destiny is just a completely different shade than I expected I just thought I swatched it weird but it definitely is very very dark I'm just gonna take some new wave which is this one right here and just try and blend out destiny this is this is not turning out to be a fun look you guys this is why are these so pigmented turning into a quick fail real quick and I don't even want to blame the palette because the palette has like amazing shades in it I really honestly want to blame myself for not remembering when I swatched it it was a dark ass shade um, so we're just gonna have to go with it next with my Sigma E30 I'm just gonna be taking a little bit of Axis and it's just super super pretty you guys I'm telling you when I saw this shade I was like I have to use it so I'm gonna use it <laughs> let's do it I'm just going to place in the crease first, and then we'll blend out with another brush. And I'm just going to blend together with Morphe M562 with no shadow on it. With the Morphe M431, I'm just going to be taking a little bit of All Star, which is this one. I'm telling you, these shades go together. I'm just going to place it on the outer corner and then blend it out with another Morphe M562. I'm just going to take a little bit of Dawn underneath my eyes as a transition shade for all the bottom shadows real quick. Basically I'm going to repeat the same steps in putting Roxy and All Star on the inner corner underneath like right here and then do the same thing I'm going to be using Axis and Destiny on the outer corner on both eyes so let me just go in and do that. I'm just going to be picking up a little bit of the shade in electric which is this one right here and I'm just gonna be applying it all over my lid and I'm also gonna be applying it in the center underneath as well just to kind of balance out both top and bottom. To finish off the eye look off camera I'm just gonna go apply on some mascara a little bit of just liner really close to my eyes and then I'm also going to apply on some lashes. I applied some cube to my inner corner and a little bit to my brow bone and I really like it. I actually like the way that this has come out so far, so woohoo! Anyways, now it is on to the time that I have been probably dreading this entire video and it is actually applying this liquid highlight over top of my powder. We're gonna be taking her 
and we're literally just going to go and apply it straight on the cheeks and blend it in with a beauty blender. <laughs> I'm gonna apply a little bit on my chin, a little bit right here on my upper lip as well. And we're not going on the forehead because if you guys can still see, my forehead is definitely peeling. First I'm gonna try dotting it above my lip with my finger and just see how it blends. It definitely does smell like vinegar. It's one of the only things that I would say against it. it definitely took off foundation where I spotted it, so it's gonna be taking off the foundation on my cheeks. So. I'm gonna go in and blend this now. I'm freaking out. We probably just ruined this entire look, you know? So we're definitely missing spots, which is very, very strange to me. You would think if you made a like liquid highlight that it would not do this. And this seems to be a trend because on my chin there's a spot, on my forehead it clumped up, so I don't know. I really think I might be using it wrong. Can someone if you are like a seasoned makeup artist or if you've tried this, let me know in the comments. But so far my impression of this is not very good. I am going to be taking her glow kit and I'm going to be taking this one in Send It. I'm just going to be taking Summer, which is the lightest shade right here, and just going on top of it to try and fix what we did. Before I put on my lipstick, I am going to be using a lip liner, which I never do. I have finally decided to use the matte lipstick in Staunch. It is this one right here. I got a little bit on the case. But as you guys can see, it's just super, super pretty. It literally matches this lip liner, so it couldn't be any more perfect. Tied the bottom. Definitely has some drag to it. It's very, very matte. So you guys can see the color here. It's actually really, really pretty. And I'm really, really fucking enjoying it. It's super matte, which I actually like. I usually can never find a regular lipstick that's matte. Usually they all say like matte, but they're not extremely matte. I like matte I already. So that is all for this freaking video. Again, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It was probably super long. I know that I took so many takes and I just did so much and it's gonna take me a few years to edit this video. Make sure you guys leave me some comments down below what you guys wanna see in the future. Again, I mentioned swatches, I mentioned a ton of stuff. I can always open more and just try PR for the first time or just try a bunch of things for the first time. I can do a, a full face first impressions. There's just so many possibilities. So let me know in the comments what you want to see or let me know your opinions on this liquid glow because girl I don't know what was going on with her. Besides that, make sure that you are already following me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel because I am doing my best to upload videos as much as I can. And yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys have a great morning, day, or night, wherever you are at, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!